Hello to all my journalers, planners, travelers, and everyone in between. Coming to you straight from the page from my journal. Today, we're talking about online teaching. Today's topic is online teaching because in the next few videos after this one that I'm going to be posting, it's going to be about things that you could do when you come back from teaching overseas. There are many online teaching jobs out there and the notion of teaching online is becoming very, very popular. And I understand where this rise of popularity is coming from. Like, I get it. People want the luxury of working from their homes, from their beds sometimes. And I'm totally with wanting that. I like working from my living room. I like not having to see co-workers, not having to hear co-workers, not having to share my face. I like that. Now, I see similarities between teaching online and teaching overseas, and I'm going to explain to you what I mean. I don't think many people realize, but in the beginning, let's say 15 years ago or so, teaching overseas was dumb easy. Like, you didn't need a degree. You really didn't need nothing. You just needed to speak English. All they needed was bodies. That's all they needed. They just needed your body, an English-speaking body. And they were willing to pay you good money for that because many people weren't willing to leave the country they knew to a foreign land. They weren't trying to do that. So they were willing to pay you really good money just to come because nobody was coming or nobody knew that opportunities like that even existed. But now with the influx of applications that they have, they can afford to be picky with who they want. So it went from you just needing to speak English to you needing to have a degree. Then that morphed to you needing to have a specific degree. So English, education, linguistics, things like that. Then it went to not only do you need those things, but you also need a certificate, whether that's a TESOL, a TEFL, a CELTA. And then some places they take tack on that they want you to have teaching experience, right? And again, they could afford to be this picky because they're getting so many applicants. Now, it's the same thing with online teaching. And I don't know if we've gotten that bad yet. Almost, almost. We're almost that bad. Because I know some places they're, they're adding on to what they want applicants to have. But for the most part, I think there are still ways for people to get in where they fit in before they can't. So I'm going to tell you about some online teaching jobs that I know about. I'm going to talk about three in this video. And you can kind of see which one works best for you. And again, there are many online teaching jobs out there. My friend, Jasmine TTV, she is currently in Poland. She wrote a very detailed um, blog entry about Cambly and iTutor. So you might want to check those out as well so you can have a good idea of what these different online teaching jobs are offering. I will make sure that I put her YouTube channel also in the description box below. So the three that I'm talking about are .iabc, VIP Kid and Pagoda. Probably never heard of Pagoda, but that's okay. I'm about to fill you in. So starting with .iabc, I applied back in about August and it was a very tedious interview process. It was about two or three sessions. They lasted any, I think between 20 and 30, 40 minutes, I believe. Um, and they did include mock classes, I believe. I had two mock classes with them. It was very tedious, but I got in. You needed props, you needed all of that. They needed you to be happy, the whole nine. Anyway, I made it, got the contract, signed it. What I liked about Dada ABC was that they paid you when you weren't teaching. You didn't get paid your full amount, but you got paid half. So for example, if you were working on a Monday from let's say six to eight o'clock, and you only had a class, classes from for that first hour, you would still get paid that second hour, just half, right? So I like that because it was like, I'm glued to my computer. I can't do anything else anyway. So you might as well compensate me for my time. So I appreciated that. The bad thing with Dada ABC was that you have to be booked by the students. Dada ABC doesn't just give you, at least then, they didn't just get, fill up your schedule for you, right? So you were literally just waiting around for somebody to book you. So that meant you had to put a lot of effort into your um, intro video. 
into your profile. You had to put a lot of effort that into that so that you could attract people. And there are Facebook groups to help you out with trying to get students to book you and this, that, and the third. But there were a few people that had trouble getting bookings and that I was one of them. That was me. But again, I wasn't beefing because I was still getting half my money for doing nothing. And granted, it wasn't a lot of money. Like, I think you got paid once a month. And I might have gotten paid, I don't know, like 200, 100. I really am not sure. But I mean, it was an opportunity for me to wake up um, two days from six to eight and work on something that I needed to work on for my own business, for my, my own things. So I used that time to do what I wanted to do and I was still getting paid a little piece of change for it. Now, contracts are six months at a time. I didn't work my full six months contract. In fact, during that whole six months, I probably only taught maybe about two, three times. But again, I really wasn't beefing because I was working, doing other things and still having that small piece of change come in. But I didn't work the full six months because they terminated my contract before um, it was over. Their excuse was I didn't have required um, certifications. But I mean, I did. I had everything clearly up there. But again, I wasn't like going to go back and forth with them because I had heard through the Facebook group that they were just letting people go like for no reason. So I figured that that was just going to be a reason that they found to like let me go. But I was fine with it because um, I could be doing other things. So when that ended, that's just what it was. VIP kid. Again, another, I felt like it was tedious to do too. And I applied for this the same time that I applied for Dada ABC in April. So literally, I will wake up one morning, have an interview with um, Dada ABC, then maybe a few hours later or the next like hour, I have another one for VIP Kid. I was just trying to see what I was going to get. And I ended up getting both of them. So VIP Kid, I passed that interview as well. And again, with VIP Kid, they don't book classes for you. At least they didn't when I was doing it. Um, you had to rely on student, the parents booking you. And I never got booked. And it wasn't like Dada ABC where you get paid half your money when you aren't teaching. You just don't get paid. So um, I actually never end up teaching anything. And they did send me a renew um, letter on like the site or whatever. And I click renew just for the hell of it. Although I did take my, um, like I'm really not even paying attention to VIP kids because like I have other things that I'm working on. And I did take like, for the most part, I think I cleared like my profile, but I just hit renew anyway. So that if I, for whatever reason, decide that I want to put in the effort to build my profile up again, I technically still have a contract with them. So all I have to do is build my profile up and kind of just try to get in where I can fit in. Now, the but last one I'm going to talk about is Pagoda. You probably never heard of Pagoda. I never heard of Pagoda either. So I found out about Pagoda because a friend's brother was working for the company. Um, I inquired and he sent the link to her. She gave me the information and I applied. The interview process was fairly easy. I believe it might have been 15 minutes. Um, very short video interview, no mock classes. Um, I sent in my resume, very brief cover letter. Maybe the fact that I worked in Korea helped a little bit. I don't know. What I like about Pagoda is that there's no video nothing. So literally, you could just roll out of bed with your headscarf on, um, dial your student's number, and put in and then you just have a class. They do have lessons. The lessons are fairly easy. Articles that you might want to go through beforehand, and then you talk about it with the student. There are dialogues that you would read so that the student can kind of get an idea of having conversations on different topics. And then there's some students who just, just want to free talk, right? Um, they have things on their mind. Some, sometimes I feel like I'm a therapist and I'm just listening to people tell me their problems because, you know, with these students, they're all Korean, by the way, there's a lot of things that they can't talk about in their culture. So 
they're just talking. They need to vent. And um and you're and I'm that person. So I like that. So you have options as far as hours to work. It's not like a dot at ABC or VIP kids or these other things where you say, oh, I can only work from, you know, Mondays and Tuesdays from like, you know, 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. Like you can't do that here. There is two options with Pagoda. You either work mornings or you work evenings. The morning shifts are from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. and the evening shifts 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 <laughs> are from 48 or depending on daylight saving time five to nine and I work the evening shift you also have the option to work both honestly I did not feel it's worth the money to work both if you work both shifts so you're waking up like 450 glance over the schedules working out 450 you're working until 10 a.m sorry you're working until 10 a.m and then you start again four and then you work until eight and then you're doing that Sunday all the way to Thursday and then you get your paycheck and it's probably about 1300 1200 to me that's not worth it so I stick with my um one shift that brings me a little over nine hundred dollars again um it's not too much money but the lifestyle that I live live it's enough for me to take care of bills to do what I need to do to focus on other things that I'm working on for me that's enough now you could obviously pair pagoda with other online teaching jobs if that is your hustle you could really do that you can pair a dot ABC with a pagoda especially since you're working mostly in the mornings with dot ABC and with pagoda you have that option the other thing I like with pagoda is that for the most part you're only working with adults so if you don't want to deal with children then this is a perfect thing for you a lot of the students there there might be in university or they might, um, they most of them work in companies. You might have some housewives that have a lot of time on their hands and they want to practice their English. So oh, there you have it. That's my take on Dada ABC, VIP Kid, and Pagoda. Please make sure that you check the description box below so you can read about Cambly and you can read about iTutor. You can also check out my homegirl's um, YouTube channel where you can get some insight on her life in Poland. I hope that you enjoy all of the information that I provided you here today. And if you are looking to transition into online teaching, I hope that this has convinced you to make that switch. Mm -hmm.